In the previous video, we introduced the concept of a page table which is used to map the logical address to the physical address. Let's consider a 32-bit logical address space. So that means the total number of addresses that are possible are 2 to the power of 32 and assuming that this is a byte addressable memory then 2 to the power of 32 bytes. If our page size is of 4 kilobytes, that means the number of pages in the logical address space would be 2 to the power of 32, which is the total size divided by the page size, which is 2 to the power of 12. So, this gives us 2 to the power of 20 pages in the logical address space. So, we'll have page 0, page 1, page 2 till page 2 to the power of 20 minus 1 because this was starting from 0. Each of this page over here is of size 4 kilobyte and the total number of pages are 2 to the power of 20. That means now if there are 2 to the power of 20 pages that means the page table will have these many entries. So, there will be one entry for each page in the logical address space. And suppose the entry is of 4 bytes. So, it contains the frame number and a valid bit or any other information. Then this, the space that will be required for the page table will be 2 to the power of 20 which is the number of entries multiplied by 4 bytes gives us 4 megabytes. And this much space would be required for each process because each process will be having its own page table. Now we do not want to allocate this large space as a contiguous space in the main memory because this is huge. And if each process is having a page table of this size, then finding this space contiguous, contiguously in the main memory might be a challenge. So, what are the solutions then? The solutions are hierarchical paging, hashed page tables and inverted page tables. So, in this video, we are going to take a look at the hierarchical paging. In hierarchical page table, the technique is to page the page table. That means, this large page table that we had one entry for each of the number of pages. So, this last entry would be for page number 2 to the power of 20 minus 1 and each entry over here gives the frame number as well as the other information. Now, because this page table is huge and like we saw in this example that it is requiring 4 MB of space, is there a possibility of paging this page table as well? That means, we put this page table in different pages. So, here if we page the page table then what we are going to have is what is called a multi-level page table or an hierarchical page table. So, now continuing with the same example of a 32-bit logical address space and 4k of page size that means the total number of bits in this logical address space is 32 bits. And now this would be divided into the page number and the page offset. This we have covered in our earlier video. So, the page number would be of 20 bits because there are 2 to the power of 20 pages. So, if there are 2 to the power of 20 pages, the number of bits required to specify the page number is 20. So, 20 bits for the page number given by P. And then because the page size is 4K which is 2 to the power of 12, so 12 bits for the page offset. So currently this is our logical address comprising of the page number and the page offset. Now let's say that the page size is 4KB and the size of each entry that we have taken in, in an example is 4 bytes. So, how many entries can we have in one page? So, the number of entries of page table in one page, so this is the page size and this is the size of each entry that means maximum entries that we can have is 2 to the power of 10. That means if this is our page table, this is the entry for page 0, 
this is the entry for page 1 and so on. So till 1023, that means a total of 1024 entries, these will be in one page. Then the next 2 to the power of entries can be in another page and so on because the page size is 4 kilobyte. Now the possibility is to keep all of this page table contiguous, contiguously in the main memory. Another possibility is to keep each page in a separate block of the memory. So now we are going to page the page table. So to do that now the page number can be further divided into a 10 bit page number and a 10 bit page offset. So earlier the page number was having 20 bits. Now we have divided this into further two parts. One becomes the page number and the other becomes the page offset. And we know that a maximum of 2 to the power of 10 entries can be in one page. So our page offset is 10 bits and the remaining 10 bits are for the page number. The offset part of 12 bits that remains the same. So now this P1 which is the page number will be an index into the outer page table. So what does this mean? Now we have broken down this page table into different blocks. So this one block, let's say this one block would be at some block in the main memory. This block of the page table would be in some other block of the main memory. So it, that means the address of this page table block would be different. The address of this page table block would be different and so on. So we need an outer page table now which will tell us that this particular block B1 is at address A1 and this block B2 is at address A2. So this outer page table will help us go to that particular block of the page table. From here now we can index into what address of the or what virtual page we are looking at. So suppose the page number is 3. Let's assume that the page number is 3. The, this is we are talking about the logical address. So if the virtual page number is 3 that means it is available in this block B1. To go to this block B1 where it is stored in the main memory, we will have to index into the outer page table. So this will be our outer page table. We will find that this block B1 is stored at address A1 in the main memory. So we will go to this address, access B1 and then index into page 3 to find out the information about the frame number and other information that is available there. So P1 is the index into the outer page table and P2 will be the displacement within the page of the inner page table. So let's look at this. So this is the page table which has been now as you can see divided into these different pages of the page table. So these are the different pages of the page table and they are not kept contiguously in the main memory now. They are kept at wherever the memory was available. And now we have this outer page table which is storing the address of where the pages of the page table are stored. So suppose this address is A1, this address is A2 and this address is A10. So we have A1 over here which is pointing to the address of the first page of the page table. This is address 2 which is pointing to the address of the second page of the page table. This is address 10 and so on. Once the system or goes to that particular address based on whatever was this P1. So P1 will be used to index into this outer page table and then once 
we go to that particular page number suppose p1 was pointing to a2 so a2 is here so we go here and then p2 will be used to index into this particular page table and now the pages are over here these are the pages of the page table and the information about the frames is available as part of the page table entry so if a2 has been reached now p2 was used to index into this particular block and suppose this was the index so it gives the frame number as 705 the 705 this information about the frame can be used to compute the physical address and to go over there so once the system reaches over there then it can the offset can be used to index into that particular to go to that particular address within the page so now this logical address is having three parts p1 p2 and the d d is the offset which is within the frame of the memory so if you check the earlier video on page table you know that this d will be used to index into the actual memory frame this is now using a two level page table p1 is being used to index into the outer page table this outer page table is storing the address of this particular block and now this is used to go to that particular page of the page table within that page p2 is used to get the information of the frame number once the frame is reached this frame is within the actual main memory currently this was the logical address now we have reached the physical memory which is the ram and after reaching to that particular frame now the d which is the offset will be used to go to that particular address so this is how a two level page table will be used if we have a larger logical address space like 64 bits then we can go for more levels of the page table like three level page table and so on.